We love our straight swords in Elden Ring, and after watching this video you will know exactly what to use and what to avoid. Let's get to it. D tier, the weapons that make you ask, why is this in the game? Elden Ring's worst straight sword is the weathered straight sword. Nothing about it is good. It's got shit range and damage, and it kinda looks like a toothpick for the fire giant. And Elden Ring's other garbage straight sword is the cane sword. I don't understand why this weapon exists. It's almost like they had a cool concept for a weapon and then decided to make it do no damage and have no range. No, but seriously, why is this weapon in the game? The game does not benefit by having this sword in it. At least the weathered straight sword is a joke weapon and is wielded by the goblin guys. But the cane sword has no place in the game. C tier. All of these weapons are usable but all of them have better versions. Short sword, low damage and short range. The two-handed heavy attack is a poke which is pretty unique. Long sword, a very average straight sword, there is nothing of note. Crystal sword, this weapon has spinning slash as ash of war and you can't even change it for some reason. There is also a similar weapon in the straight sword category that is easily better than this. B tier, good weapons or have something unique going for them. Broad sword, does good damage and has decent range. Lord Sworn Straight Sword. Good damage and range. Also looks quite clean. Noble Slender Sword. Has long range but low damage. So pretty good for bleed builds. Farming this takes as long as it takes for a snail to beat Elden Ring. So if you want to use this sword, prepare to farm for about 200 hours. Warhawk's Talon. Or as it's called in the lands between, Bird Leg. Good damage and has unique heavy attack. Looks cool. Lazuli Glintstone Sword. This is the better version of the Crystal Sword, as both have almost equal damage, but this one has a better Ash of War, and Heavy Attack Windup is a block, which is quite unique. Carrion Knight Sword. Good damage and range. Heavy Attack Windup is also a block, and the Ash of War is very good, but not unique to this weapon. Rotten Crystal Sword. It's basically the crystal sword, but someone shoved it up Melania's ass and that gave it rot. And rot is maybe a bit too powerful. Mikellen Knight's sword. Pretty average sword with split damage and the heavy attack that does a short lunge. Ash of War is not unique, but isn't bad. Regalia of Eokide. This is a tough one because the weapon's damage is ass and the Ash of War is so cool, but doesn't do good damage. I'm honestly not sure if this is a A tier or a B tier weapon, so I'll say it transcends time and space and is somewhere in between. A tier, powerful weapons that also have a cool factor. Ornamental straight sword, or the sword of the human spider children that are so fucking annoying. It's got really nice damage when dual wielding. Asher War is a buff that turns the heavy attack into a wild combo where your character goes fucking nuts. Cool fact about this weapon is that it's the only straight sword in the game that when dual wielding, you have two different jumping attacks. Attacks? Are you fucking stupid? Coded sword or lightsaber. Sword looks cool and scale is fully of faith and has no bullshit split damage. It also makes a pretty cool noise when you swing the sword, so yeah, it is basically a lightsaber. S tier. These weapons are fucking busted. Sword of Saint Tree now, sleep stick. Yeah, this thing is pretty nutty. Although the damage not, might not be very good, the fact that it's the only melee weapon in the game that inflicts sleep is why it's so busted. Sleep is just crazy good, and its Ash of War gives it more sleep just in case the enemies weren't in a coma by now. Massive bonus for this wep weapon because it completely shits on Foreskin Duo and puts them into a coma. And Elden Ring's most OP straight sword, even after the nerfs, is still the Sword of Night and Flame. Both of its Ash of War attacks deal massive amount of damage. And yes, the sword itself is kinda shit with a 3 way split damage, but the Ash of War, even after its nerf, is still one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, Ash of War in the game. So, yeah, it's still busted. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe so that I don't have to get a real job. Bye.